badly affected. Then we have the security risk, that security factors will always impinge and they'll take precedence over business risks and uh, business relationships. Then we have financial risks. We don't have the infrastructure for doing business across the borders and you never know when your money will be tied up and you are not going to... So there are numerous uh, risks and the business people are used to taking normal business risks. And normal business risks are the market risk and the business risk. They can evaluate it, they can look at their competition, they can see what they have to do if they are uh, going to compete in a particular market and then they will make good decisions and which may lead to returns for them or losses for them. But that is something which they are trained to do. But to take political and regulatory and communication risk and financial risk and uh, security risk is something which uh, is asking too much from them to take those risks. And that's where I think the leadership really comes into play that their job is to reduce these risks. The greater the risk, the less will be the results. Smaller the risk, greater will be